Hi guys, this is Brittany with The Crafting Spot, and for today's tutorial, we'll be doing the music plaques that have gone viral on TikTok and other social media platforms. Um, we're using the Silhouette Cameo software, and we'll be using the tracing tool for most of the project. So, I'll walk you through it. Let's get started. All right, right now on the mat is the project that I'm working on. This is what it's going to look like in the end. But to make sure that I size everything correctly, I'm going to go and adjust my size. So right now it's at 12 by 12. We'll click the first icon on the right and we'll adjust it from 12 by 12 to 8 by 10 because that's the size of the acrylic sheet that I'm working with. And I want to make sure that I size all of my components correctly. I also currently have it set to a 12 by 24 mat. And since I'll be using my 12 by 12 mat, I'm going to adjust that as well. So now the mat set, the workspace is set, and it shows you, if I slide it over, you'll see this is the amount of space that it's gonna take up when I actually cut it out. But let's move this out of the way and get started on making yours. First things first, you're gonna need a screenshot. So I went into my Apple Music and I screenshot uh, one of our favorite songs, and I'm going to actually trace some of the elements from this. Uh, I have a couple of other screenshots here on the left. You see how small it is there? So I wanted to blow them up. So I did individual screenshots to get the details of the elements that I felt were a little too small to trace from this one screenshot. But we'll go in and work on this one. We'll start with the play button. Go over to the right panel and we'll select the trace feature. Looks like the butterfly or the cookie cutter. You're going to select trace and then highlight what you want to trace. This one actually came out good on the first try, but you can adjust the sliders to uh, make sure that it's fully yellow then you select trace we'll move on to the next spot i'm not adding color just because i want to see the everything from uh, behind it you can do this in any order but next i chose to trace the line that shows how far the song has played i actually played the song to one of my favorite parts and it's going to reflect in the line i didn't want to leave it at zero but you could totally do that if that's what you wanted to do now you'll try to make the trace as clean as possible. Just adjust the sliders back and forth to make sure that you don't have any stray pieces that you'll have to clean up later. And when you're happy with it, click trace. Next, we'll go up here and trace these three dots. I only want the three dots in the middle. I'll actually draw the circle after it's traced. So select it, color them in, and then select trace. Next, we'll draw the circle. Go over to the left, draw shape tool, select the circle, and we're gonna put the circle around the three dots that we just traced. So to do so and make it a perfect circle, you hold down shift and drag until you have the size that you want. After that, we'll select both the circle that we just drew and the three dots, right click, select make compound path, and this will basically knock out or cut out the three dots from the circle that we just drew. And you'll see what it looks like in the end when we actually cut it out. For the next two parts, it'll look just the same. You're going to select what you want to trace, trace it, make sure that you highlight it and get it filled in as much as possible and go from there. Now with this one, you'll notice that I have sort of a hook because it's not picking up the, the volume slider completely, but no worries. I'll still select trace and then I'm going to use the knife tool to cut off that portion of it, draw another circle and weld the pieces together. All right, so I'll grab the knife tool and I'm going to cut a straight line down to cut off the excess. All of the stuff to the right of the line that I just cut will be deleted. And then I'll use the line on the left side. Now we need to draw another circle. So go over to the left, select the circle tool as we did before, and we'll hold down shift, drag, and make sure that the circle matches the circle that we're tracing here. Once you're done with that, bring the circle up to the line that we just cut from. Now be sure that the line overlaps the circle just a little bit and we'll select both the line and the circle at the same time. Right click and click weld. That will make the circle and the line be one piece and it'll look closer to what it originally looked like. At this point, I had too many individual pieces, so I just went ahead and grouped everything back together so that I can move all of this section as one unit. Thank you. 
All right, we're almost done. Now we'll bring this piece over and I'll do the same thing. Trace it, highlight everything, make sure that it's completely yellow instead of the red that you see. And then once you're done, select trace. You'll see this project has a lot of repetition. So once you learn the basics of the features, then you'll be able to duplicate this with anything. But I'll do the same thing. We're gonna draw another circle around these arrows since it didn't trace that part. And then I'm gonna select both the arrows and the circle, right click, make compound path, and it's going to cut the arrows out of the circle. When we're done with that, select everything that we just traced here right click it and group it together then i'll resize it and put it up here to make it closer to the original screenshot next we need to add all of the text elements so just select the text tool type out everything that you have here all of the, the times on the slider you need the song title and the artist and put that on there you can use any font that you choose i just used a generic one that was somewhat close to what the original looked like. At this point, you're pretty much done designing. You can move the screenshot out of the way, select everything that you've got, add color, and you will see that it looks very similar. It's not gonna be 100% perfect, but it is gonna be something special. Now, as I said in the beginning, I have this workspace set to the exact size of the item that I'm gonna use. So. You just resize the words on the screen. You can stretch it out, you can shrink it, you can do whatever to make it fit what you want it to look like. I wanted it to look very close to the screenshot, so I'm not gonna adjust it too much. I'm about to make a cheat sheet, so I'll go up here and just get a square, and I'm gonna put the square on the screen so I can sort of see what it's gonna look like, make sure that I have the placement, see if I wanna change the size of my picture, or see if I wanna change any of the elements on the screen. Now it's time to cut. Since it's all going to be the same color, I'll send it all to the Cameo at the same time and can cut it in one sheet. And here it is. After I weeded the vinyl, I got my AT65 transfer tape, put it on top, burnished it, peeled it off, and I was ready to stick it to the acrylic sheet. Sheet using the Cameo that I can place under the acrylic sheet and make sure that I line up everything correctly. To get the picture, I brought it into the Cameo Studio software, printed it out to my regular printer using sticker paper, and I just cut it out by hand actually, or you could do a print and cut. After that, I just hung it on the wall using a command strip placed directly behind the picture. That's it, it's easy. Hold up, wait, are you following me on TikTok? Lighten up your day And the point of it all Is I love you Thank you for joining.